So at the bottom, let's go ahead and complete uh, the design for the home screen. So we are just going to bring down a view and add an inline styling of flex of one to take the whole width and also the whole height. Uh, sorry, the whole height. Now, whenever we have a list of items, let's take for example, we don't have any uh, thing or any value in our, uh, let's say in our store. So we want to display something like no transaction or we don't have any current transaction. I think that would be a better way to explain that. So we can just uh, create a view. Now this view is also going to be accepting an inline styling of a line items to center. We can give it a, imagine top imagine top of 30 because we want it to be kind of far from uh, the card then we have added uh in between the view we have the text for a style of let's give it a color the color is not going to be something friendly it's going to be something like a warning color no items found something like a reddish color so we have the font weight of uh, let's make it a little bit bold with a 700 then we can increase the font size as well to 20. so between that we can just quickly uh, put down no transactions yet so i think that solves it for uh, no transactions yet and you can see it kind of looks uh, very nice whenever we don't have any transaction we can actually uh, make use of that so i'm just going to save that and uh, allow it to disappear because we also have to complete our uh, our design for our flat list so the flat list i'm using is from react native so the way you can get that come over to google search for uh, react native flat list it's going to take you to the official docs of react native flat list and you can see a good example of what they did actually here. So we are going to be uh, making use of the data they provided in this uh, default page. So let me just allow that to load. I'm just going to copy exactly what you see here and they put down the steps you can use to set it up. So everything we are going to be doing is kind of uh, going to as well look familiar to what you can see on my screen so let me just close that down and uh, at the top i'm just going to put the data so i'm just going to put it above our home screen then inside our view we just uh have to put the flat list now the flat list itself accept the data so the data is the data we just uh, grabbed and it also accepts the render item. So with the render item is actually a component and we are going to actually create that component immediately. So it's going to accept the coily braces. Now here we can uh, use the structuring to get the item. Okay, now actually the structuring, but we can grab the items. Then right here, we can use JSX to render all those items. So I'm just going to create a component shortly called item and it's going to be accepting the title which is going to be coming from we can actually use the structuring to pull that out you can say the title and also the price i think we also need the id so i'm just going to quickly add all those things title price is also price and also id is also id and uh, after that we have the key extractor to make each item have a unique value. So in the item is going to be item. Uh, let's say you have a string value. You just have to use it directly. If you don't have string value, then you have to use two string to make sure that that is a, a string value. So I think that solves it. We didn't add an equal sign over here. So that's why we have this white text field everywhere. So that solves it. And it's going application is supposed to crash. Of course, we don't have a component called item. So at the top right away, we are going to create a component called item. So let me just go at the top. Then here, I'm going to create a component. You can actually create this component as a file, but let's just uh, create it 
on the same home screen. So here I'm going to create a function called item. So guys, sorry for that big noise. I don't understand what's going on on my streets. So remember that we pass all these things in as a prop. So guys, it was actually a street sweeper. So a vehicle called street sweeper that is actually sweeping the road. I really want to apologize for the big noise. So let's get back. So in this function, we grab the things that we pass down as a prop from our uh, flat list. And it's going to return a JXX with a view. Now this view is going to accept an inline styling of margin vertical of three, padding, uh, let's say padding uh, horizontal of 30 and also padding vertical vertical of uh, 15. Now in between that, we just have to bring down our list view. Now this list view of, okay, okay, for now we don't have an inline styling, but uh, it's going to accept. Uh, let me see for now. You can see we do not have any error except for the list view. We can grab that quickly from uh, the list view is from uh, React Native, I guess. Actually, it's not a list view. It's called list item. So I'm just going to import that because we are going to be making use of that list item from the native base feature. So back here, we just have to remove list view to list item and in the list item uh, let me see if we have right now the checkbox the checkbox is there and also we have uh for now we have the body the body is going to accept the text now for the text we have the font size of 17 we have the font width of 700. We have the margin left of 10. So guys, I'm not in the usual place I stay to record. So that's why you can hear a little bit of a little bit of uh, some couple of noises, but I really want to say I'm sorry. Uh, but I don't have a choice to stop now. So that's why I really need to continue to like finish up. So we have the title then for the right the right is where we are going to be displaying our money so we have a text with an inline styling of font family of little bold we also have uh, the font size of 14 we also have the font weight of 100 we also have the color of uh, for this color we are going to be using a ternary operation to display this color because we don't want to repeat things together so the first one is let me just add a true value if it's actually true we want to use as 009bfc or we can make use of ff45100 or 100 so here with our naira value i think uh, we have a naira value at the bottom we can just quickly grab that so let me just uh, paste that at the top immediately then our another value we have uh, something like an expense so let me just use a uh, 700 naira for now so let me see if and you can see each of those values uh, are there of course we don't have uh, prices at the data we uh, grabbed from the default or from the docs of react native so that's why i'm not, uh, actually not uh putting down the price but you can see we have the title so i think uh, the title is not actually displaying let me kind of check so we have title to be title or maybe 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 i just do this directly we have item dot we also have item dots we also have item dots. So let's save that. Uh, it's not actually giving us the value, but uh, what we can actually do is let's kind of consider log the props. 
So sorry for this little delay, guys. Let me just props console.log props and let me just get rid of this uh, body. So let's see if so check in our metro bundler we have undefined 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 so the values are now actually uh, passing as a prop let me just get down and quickly check that we are not supposed to be having a problem but i do not know why we are having a problem so it says render item and i think that's because we didn't wrap this on a coily brace Let's save that again and check. Okay, we didn't wrap that on a coily brace. This kind of destructuring on itself, but I didn't really get the idea in the first place. So let's just go ahead and uh, complete that. Uh, we have the body, 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 which we don't really want. So at the top here, we can just quickly change that back to the title. Then we can get rid of these props and still use the structuring over here. We have the title, the price, and also the ID. So let's save, and you can see all the items we added here has been displayed. So uh, one thing you can observe is uh, this is kind of more down than it ought to be. I do not really know why, but since we are not building a professional app, but an app that can help us to get some good knowledge, I'm just going to come here and add a margin top of negative 150 because i want it to go a little bit up and i think it's kind of better the way it is so that we can see everything or we can even increase it to 170 so it kind of uh, looks better right now so you can see we have an actively working application and that is done uh for now it's remaining our ad uh, route so in the next part we are going to be handling the ad route and also making a design from for our fonts sorry for our forms and also for our input so thank you for watching please do make sure to hit the like button and also the subscribe button so in one of the parts of the video i promised that we are going to fix our fonts so we are actually using the leto font family so i'm just going to go over to the official docs of leto or let's say the google fonts uh, let's just search for leto font family we can get that from google fonts so i'm just going to quickly download that i'm going to select each and every one of them so i'm just going to quickly do that before i will continue so quickly i moved all the fonts to source fonts folder so that's the way you can uh, actually make use of your fonts then you can make sure that you terminate your metro bundler then in your commander all you just have to do is to run react native link and it's going to link every font on your uh, font folder to your access android folder so that's why you see the access to target the source fonts folder so we have it linked right now and that will help us to make use of our fonts so anytime we are run our application our application can actually make use of fonts so we do not want to be making use of all these items that you can see here the first item second item they all come from this uh react native provided uh data so we don't want to make use of that so right now we are going to go over to our transaction reducer so if you can remember if you can recall we added that earlier in one of the videos so we don't want to be making use of that directly so we can just go over to our store reducers and now uh, go over to the transaction reducer so in transaction reducer before we actually do anything uh, let's uh, actually create a folder called actions now we are going to create a file called types so these types is going to be exporting some variables so the first one is called the add transactions add transaction and also delete uh for now let's just complete this before we move ahead uh sorry for that add transaction and the next one is called delete 
delete transaction. So let's save that. Then inside here, we can just quickly import that, even though we are still not going to be making use of that till we get to it. So we can import that from actions slash types. Then here we are going to be adding some values in our state. So I'm going to be adding transactions. So transaction is going to be an array. The first one is just an ID of one title of, let me just add a soup. Or uh, you can add a price of uh, 20, minus 20. I add a soup of uh, 20. I'm just going to add uh, some. Uh, remember to always uh, put a comma at the, at the end. So I'm just going to copy that again. Change this, change this. Oh, sorry guys for that. So we have, uh, I also eat Amala, Amala soup of, uh, let's say, of minus 40. Then I got a money from PayPal of uh, 400. I also uh, got a money from, uh, let's say, uh, from the bank, let's say 20,000. Uh, let's just, let me not just make it so big and also i drank gary i drank gary of uh minus uh 50 or minus 60. so let me just change this to drink gary to minus uh 50. so i don't know why my machine is kind of uh slow so i'm just going to uh, put command over there and also one last command there so you can see we have some uh, items right now in our initial state. Let me kind of bring the add transaction and also the delete transaction over there. So in our home screen, all we just simply have to do is to make use of the use selector. Since I'm not uh, working on a big project, it's always a, uh, well, even if you're working on a big project, you can also make use of it. But for now, let's just make use of uh, use selector to grab things from our Redux. So forgive me, sometimes when you talk a lot, you kind of uh, make a lot of mistakes. So I'm just going to const, uh, let me just pull transactions equal to use selector. So the use selector actually comes from React Redux. So let me just go up. You can see use selector from React Redux. So it's going to get our state. I just want the state dot transactions. So in our state dot transactions is where we have our transactions. So why you see me use state dot transactions is because in our combined reducers, I'm using transactions. So if I happen to change this, I still need to come over to my home screen and change that. So let me kind of reduce this font so that it doesn't just uh, cover everything I'm doing. So let me just use a uh, 20. I think 20 is good. I think it's better. So I, I'm sure you understand what I just explained. I said, if I change this, then that means in my combined reducers, I also have to change transactions to whatever I changed. So that's it. That's why you can see transactions over there. So I think you really understand what I just said. So let me just save that. So you can see we do not have an error and that's going to help us to get rid of uh, this, this data. And lastly, you can come over to uh, your flat list. And instead of you to have this data, you can just pass transactions. So let's save that and you can see we have the list of everything I added uh, at the top. You can see we have it over there. Then while you see all those errors, because for this one, I have to uh, now convert it to string. Oh guys, sorry for that. So you can see right now we have the list that we just uh, organized by our own self and not from the React Native list. 